thank you for tuning into my channel if you're new here my name is show love and if you love this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so today we're going to be learning how to create dividers in Silhouette Studio. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and create a square uh, with a width of eight and a half and a height of 11. So you want to click on the square and then change the width to eight and a half and the height to 11 and select apply. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to create another square with the second square in that selection of shapes. And then you're going to work with the shape of it of how round you want the edges or how square you want them. And once you're done with that, you're going to change the dimensions of the width to about 1.499 and the height will adjust to 0 0.575. And then we're going to change the direction to vertically and this will be your tab. So once you're done with that, you're gonna select that tab and then go to the replicate tool and we're going to replicate it vertically. And you're going to replicate it until you have about seven tabs. And once you're done with that, you're going to select all the tabs. And then you're going to overlap them over the larger square. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this a little better. Perfect. And you'll see later why you, you want to do this. Okay, so for the next step, you're going to copy and paste to a different page, leaving one tab out each time. Now it may sound a little confusing, but please watch the video to the very end before attempting to ensure that you understand completely. So here I'm just going to copy all the tabs plus the larger square minus one. And then I'm going to paste it to another page. So I'm going to copy all the tabs plus the larger square minus one and paste them to another page. And I'm just going to continue this process until I have all the tabs minus one on a page. So I have all my tabs on a page. Now what I'm going to do is go back and delete the tabs minus that one on each page. And I'm just going to continue this process until the last tab. <music> the last page I don't need to remove anything because that is the last tab 
Now here I am just going to copy the entire image and weld it together. Now I don't like how the tab is overlapping, so I'm going to reverse that, move the tab down a little, and then weld it again. So I'm just gonna continue this process for each tab, copy the entire image, right click, scroll down, select weld, and that's it. <laughs> Have successfully welded each tab and page together now once you're done with that I'm just going to put all the tabs onto one page for the purposes of this video now you don't want to do this if you're going to be cutting them out I would recommend leaving them each on a separate page so that it's easier for you to cut them out the cut settings that you would use if you're cutting on cardstock, which I recommend, are 4 for the blade depth, 3 for the speed, and 33 for thickness. And I will leave all this information down below. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to change the color so that you can see the dividers a little better. That's it guys, you have successfully learned how to create dividers in Silhouette Studio. If you want to see a video of me cutting out these dividers, please comment down below letting me know. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Bye loves.